when you're learning this like proficiency material and really like stretching your brain and stretching your fingers and stretching all parts of yourself to get to this level of fluency that we're all here to attain, it's really easy to just sort of zone out and become automatic. But if you're not like in the experience, um, you're not going to really get anything out of it. You don't want to practice mindlessly or automatically. You want to make sure that you're really present in your practice and asking yourself questions. People will often do the thing that their teacher tells them to and and then it's the end and then they just leave it at that and they're like okay what's the next thing and they never ask themselves any questions so my advice to all of you is when you're learning an exercise like whether it's your daily lesson plan or it's something with your mentor um don't don't ever believe that like it's the end or like oh you do the thing and it's over there's always more to go and there's always more to explore and the only the thing that really makes a musician special is their relationship with the instrument and with music. So when you're listening to a great musician that you love, generally um, you love them because they're like in it and they have a certain vibe and a certain um, special thing, unique thing that they bring to music. And that comes from the time that they spent with the instrument, really like loving it. And you know, by loving it, I mean like really exploring it and getting curious and like inquiring and, developing their own way of being with the instrument and that comes from like this pure fascination and sometimes pure fascination is something you need to cultivate in your practice you know sometimes it doesn't it doesn't always come naturally to all of us because a lot of us will pick up the guitar and be like uh what do i do with this thing and it's really hard to be fascinated when you're just like lost right so that's something that develops over time and gets cultivated um, but that would be the most important thing to, I would say, to cultivate as you practice, even when you're doing scales, which seems very boring and tedious. But even when you're doing that, if you can bring a level of curiosity and fascination into it, then bringing curiosity and fascination and inspiration to something more fun is going to be way easier. So that's what makes you a really dynamic musician.